Hey guys, it's John, the Vintage Geek, inside my toy room. And I don't know if I ever showed off this Bounty Hunter display. The classic original Kenner, then some Hasbro Modern, Black Series Lego, and West, uh, West End Games. Is it West End Games? I don't remember. The large 12-inch uh, Hasbro from the 90s, and the, you know, 95-ish Power of the Force stuff hanging behind and then today we're going to look at mask again we got back to mask we have four new vehicles that have come in so we're going to do four new videos i don't know what we're going to start with we have all these cool guys here we got floyd malloy and the vampire we got the iguana we got the gator and we have the jackhammer with cliff dagger let's go largest to smallest let's check out cliff dagger and the jackhammer it's this really cool black truck like a bronco style from the you know like think think like 80s bronco kind of truck and that's what we got here nice bumper in the back cool airfoil up on top and we got all this detail chrome front end this chrome bumper, this cool, like, engine-looking thing sticking out of the hood. That was really cool. Look at all the detailing in the plastic here. You got lots of little things to look at and imagine what they might do. Because they're not on a real Bronco, you know? <laughs> Looks like he's got beefed-up tires. They stick out from each side. You know, they're not just under the truck. They actually stick out and look menacing and powerful. It's pretty cool. And Cliff Dagger fits in there pretty good, don't you think? He's driving along. Woohoo! I'm Cliff Dagger. And he's got this like eye patch on and a gun and a holster. He's got like a flashlight and all this utility belt stuff. He's ready for action, if you ask me. And he's got his little helmet there, torch. And of course, as you can guess, torch can throw fire from the helmet. That's its power. Like a flamethrower. You know. He did that in the cartoon a few times. <laughs> Lights everything on fire. He's got kind of like a beret sort of thing on. With his eye patch, of course. He's a muscular dude. In the cartoons, he wasn't very bright. He was kind of like, Dor, dur, dur, one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was always one. He's kind of like the Ram Man of the uh, of Miles Mayhem's crew. He is a bad guy. He works for Venom for Miles Mayhem. And, uh, yeah. Miles Mayhem was the leader of Venom, of course. And uh, Cliff was one of his henchmen. One of his first henchmen. And loyal henchmen. And Cliff's helmet fits right on his head perfectly. Look at that. Nice fit. I do believe this is the Style 1 helmet. Every helmet has two different styles in Mask. Because the first series that came out in 1985, I believe it was, um, kids were choking on them. So they had to make the helmets larger by the time they got around, I think, to Series 2. They had retooled all the Series 1 helmets to be a little bit bigger. And, yeah, he fits good in there, don't you think? The little doors open up and he slides right in. He's got a nice dashboard area in here. Good sticker in there. Lots of room to fit two figures in this vehicle. Really cool. All the wheels work. Really nice wheels. They're rubberized on there with chrome rims, of course. And check this out. We're going to get into the special features. Bam! Up pops a gun turret with a seat. Guns pop out. You just hit the rear bumper and those things, you know, pop into action. We put this little gun. Mine's very loose, but you slide it in a little hole there. See how loose mine is? I've, we're going to have to do something to fix that. But um, at least I have that little gun. That little gun alone will probably run you $30, $35 when you're hunting, if you if you don't have that. So you're better off, this is one of those ones where you're probably better off finding a complete one. 
Because if you're missing that little gun and you really want it, you're going to pay for it. <laughs> so, kind of get his feet right and you can put him in the back chair here. So he can be up there in the gun turret. Firing the little gun on top. Come on, stay in one spot. There we go. And the two big cannons that are up there. Pretty cool. And now there is one more feature. You don't want to be driving around this truck with that windshield all exposed. Let's make it an armored vehicle. Mass Crusaders. Then they just pop this thing open. It's supposed to be a little bit smoother than that, but mine's a little stuck. So, that's okay, though. I mean, this thing's old. But check out that ratchet motion, the machine gun motion of those two guns that are in the front that popped out when the when the uh, front grill and bumper folded down. Look at that. It's got a little do -do 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 action going. It says Venom right up front. Real nice sticker there. Pretty cool. Now I won this with the Iguana and the Vampire Motorcycle. The Iguana four-wheeler and the Vampire Motorcycle plus this. So there was three vehicles in a, in a lot that I won on eBay. And getting a lot, I mean this vehicle here will probably realistically run you $45 to $50 complete. And yeah, as you can imagine, you can get them for like 20 bucks if you don't have that little gun. But that little gun is $30 of the, of the toy, so add that little gun and your $20 toy went up to 50 bucks. And if you buy a $20 one without the little gun, you're going to be, you know, either waiting a long time or uh, dishing out another $30, $35 just for that little gun. It's kind of a, it's kind of a pain how this stuff works out, you know? But, um, yeah... And then, uh, so yeah, but 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 what was really cool was I won the auction for all three for around 50 bucks. So, and then I had to pay shipping. So, I mean, it was kind of like not, not a bad deal to get three in one shot. And uh, that's what you kind of got to look for, I think, with Mask, is try to find auctions. And always bid when that auction goes down to three, two, bid, you know, um... Because at that last second is when everyone will scoop in. Sometimes you'll grab it, sometimes you'll miss it. But, you know, that's the best way to do it. Don't bother bidding during the week while you're waiting for it because someone will always outbid you and, you know, you're just going to end up raising the price even more before the day. So just put a watch on it and wait till there's only two or three seconds left in the in the auction and just bid at that absolute last second with the most amount that you're willing to pay for it, and that you'll probably win it. And if not, we'll move on to the next auction. But there you go, guys. Cliff Dagger with his torch helmet and the jack... <laughs> Sorry. And the jackhammer. Looking ready for action, ready to help Venom defeat Mask. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you uh, you know want to see more cool toys, like the rest of those mask vehicles, up close and personal, because we'll be getting to them later this week. All right, guys, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.